you're talking about saving my wrist, saving my shoulders, saving my spine. When I don't have to worry about pain or issues with that, then I can lift more frequently on those exercises and frequency is huge for building strength. The quest to build major muscle almost always leads to a handful of key exercises, moves like the deadlift, the squat, and the bench press. But those core lifts don't really work for everyone. I've gone through periods where those lifts don't work for me, and sometimes where they even cause pain, and plenty of other people experience issues with those classic exercises as well. To Chris Duffer, who's deadlifted and squatted a thousand pounds, the solution is not to just keep doing those lifts. It's to tweak those lifts to you, and learning to do that, which I did at Kabuki Strength, just might help you build muscle and strength more efficiently and pain-free. I think the most salient example that we can really give people is what you say about the barbell deadlift. We don't have to necessarily deadlift from flat ground, right? The bar height is based on the plates, and plates or made that diameter so that if a weight was dropped for Olympic lifting, because that was one of the first sports, that the bar wouldn't hit the person if they were on the ground or crush them. And they came up with 18 and 7 eighths of an inch. So that's just what it happens to be. Is that great for you? It might be an inch different. Exactly, so instead of doing that, you say take platforms or plates or something like that, prop the bar up on that, that way you have a little bit more elevation, right? Yep. Being able to change the height of the bar, all these sorts of things have a role in it. If a traditional back squat has you in a poor position, you could play around with a front squat. It actually allows for more spinal uprighting. You could start going to a goblet squat. Unfortunately, you can't really load it because your bicep and your shoulders take all the load, but those are some examples of playing around with it. We have a bar called the transformer bar. It's the only bar where I can manipulate your spinal mechanics and change the loading on that hip joint. We could take sheer stress out on the spine. And so what we've done is free up the load so we can move it anywhere in space. And that sounds like, oh, we're moving that around the back, but we're not. It's very simple. The load always stays over the midfoot. So what are we doing? We're actually manipulating the spine around that. So if you're not able to get in a good position, we can cue that to happen. In the bench press, the straight bar, it's always trying to throw you into internal rotation, which is where basically all your injury risk comes from. And so being able to balance that and then having the stacking of the joints happen from getting some stability in here. Like I have to be benching with a bar. Well, if it's causing you shoulder pain and you're not able to switch to some dumbbells, right? That'll free up the movement and you can get in better position. The Cadillac bar is a pressing bar. What we've done with the pressing bar is we've actually moved the load to below the wrist. So yeah. as you're pressing, it wants to find center and stabilize instead of being on a pendulum. And then did the balance of internal to external rotation based on the width, as well as leaving just a little bit left to cue external rotation. You're talking about saving my wrist, saving my shoulders, saving my spine. When I don't have to worry about pain or issues with that, then I can lift more frequently on those exercises. And frequency is huge for building strength. I can get more reps, I can also go heavier. And I think what's special about the tools yeah. you make is that you're still letting us train heavy as opposed to having to pull back and not be able to lift the heavy loads. That's exactly it. Stop thinking of your workout as just, you have to be on the barbell, you have to do certain motions the way they are. There is no one way that you have to get a movement pattern done. Hit the movement patterns and be strong, but you don't have to hit them just one way.